you guys can walk away from it, and you put Donald Trump ahead of the country. I mean, if the White House could have written that script, they could have written that script of a House unable to do things, and that was a gift to them in this last year. All right, and we're still seeing images of the motorcade making its way uh, through Washington as various dignitaries uh, are welcomed into the House chamber. I can't, can't hardly see it through the trees. Uh, as we watch the U.S. Supreme Court there it is. walk in, yeah. uh, there are six uh, justices that are here tonight. They are the Chief Justice of Praise the Jesus. John Roberts. Uh, John so Roberts. Mayor, Elena Kagan, what do you think? Ketanji Brown Jackson, or the three Democratic appointees on the bench. Uh, and then, in addition to them, uh, Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh, who were two of Donald Trump's uh, three uh, justices appointed to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. uh, it's obviously typical for the Supreme Court to come. Not every justice is there. Amy Tony Barrett, Clarence Thomas, and Samuel Alito are not there. Clarence Thomas has not been there, uh, has not attended the State of the Union since 2006. Um, Casey, remind our viewers Casey the sea of white uh, of uh, congressional um, women, uh, yeah. Democrats uh, in the House and Senate, why they are all wearing white. Uh, it's about reproductive rights. Uh, and that, of course, uh, we want abortions. We want abortions. Issue, frankly, uh, the Democrats want to promote for all of the uh, discussions that we're having uh, around this table about the president's challenges on immigration and the economy. Democrats are going to plan to answer uh, those challenges uh, with abortion. I mean, that is going to be something uh, that we are going to be hearing over and over and over Ooh. again throughout this election. And frankly, Oh, now he's starting. Down that lane like a freight train, can't she? Like a freight train, like a Mack truck on the highway. Layla Fulia is impossible to stop when she gets going downhill with a full head of steam. All right, if you've got things going, Layla Fulia all the way to the rack. And how about Lauren Hanson hitting every single shot? It feels like when you get a paint touch, Jesus loves you. Free opportunity. And why not show off? Oh, by the way, I'm a three level four. Let me show you from the mid range. I don't know where he went. We see them. Oh, there he is. Dude, I don't know. Entering the chamber and both sides standing up and applauding. You're right. It's a, it's a moment to remember. This is the United States of America, and these are our elected leaders. You hit it right on the patriotic head. Um, and it does remind people that a lot of the division is manufactured and done for advantage. In other words, these men and women, they know better. They know better. Um, what do you think about those audiences? Joe Manchin. Tonight? That would really surprise me. Mitt Romney. Joe Manchin talking to Romney. They're both going to retire. They're both deal makers uh, from the left and right. There's no more reason See the to flares? <laughs> That's a fascinating image, is it not? And we're going to see... Country together with the country now facing a Biden Trump rematch. We must be clear democracy is on the ballot, your freedom is on the ballot. Moments from now, before a joint session of Congress, the American people and the world. Steny Hoyer, American comeback. Nancy. Jobs have been created since 2021. He will blame Republicans for border problems, and he will suggest his age shouldn't be an issue because Donald Trump is roughly the same age. The president has also been practicing dealing with textbooks when he talks to Gaza, possibly from progressives in his own party. Right. Okay, we're waiting for President Biden to get in position. Peter, thank you. Uh, Peter, you're wrong. Kind of Audio is uh, choppy. Fox News is choppy audio. They'll walk in as the escort committee for the president, and then he will start the long process of shaking hands um, and interacting with people in more or less performative ways, depending on the member, uh, as he works his way down that center. I want to Boston. get away. Keep in mind, there's, there's the man who yeah. we did it. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> and we're done. Thank you. Um, <laughs> one thing to, that will be well. Team man, now she's taking the deal for the job. Hi, Brett. 
what the big focus tonight really is on his demeanor, how he seems. Does he seem uh, energetic and authoritative? And, and will he be smooth and polished? You know, we've seen so many. He's still be feeling, but I think you put your finger on it. This country is divided. You wonder who will receive whatever message he's trying to deliver. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that is. Benji. Is his team. This is the largest team Lisa. that he'll probably have this election. Susan. They are extremely aware, Nora. And they say that while Nancy Cordes. Overtly political, what do you think? Republicans, right? Jesus shows up. Uh, yeah, he's still there. Within a political season. And they really view the speech as the kickoff to the general election. Hard to see through the trees. And so this is a message that they're going to want to take forward over the next several mm -hmm. months. As he barnstorms the country, uh, the ads, the surrogates, he's really laying the foundation for the kids that he wants to make the world. I want to fly away. Gaza, and of course, caught up in that conflict between Hamas and Israel. And of course, we do expect the conflict in the Middle East to be a key focus tonight. We do know that the president will address this situation. Matt Gates, but as we talk he about likes little that, girls. Also that possibility that an individual member, maybe of the president's own party, or perhaps one of their guests, uh, have to stage some sort of a protest. Ted Cruz, Josh Hawley, to work to bring an end to the war. John the Kennedy, crisis, uh, that is don't know who that is. And then we should also not forget that all of this comes against the Marco Rubio. ongoing impeachment inquiry that was launched by House Republicans. They've been, of course, investigating the president's family. Uh, this has uh, been an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> the script that immigration has been doing for the last uh, several weeks. And to Abby's point about reproductive rights earlier, it does see Jesus totally energize and mobilize the base, but the reason it's been so successful for Democrats is right there. far beyond the base. They've actually... We, they, that issue, when it is on the ballot, abortion rights in a post-op world, performs better than the right there in the through the trees. George Santos. <laughs> so it's a double whammy. It's a you faggot. And it actually adds to the coalition. And it 